In this segment of our course, we're going to discuss the pruning just before the plants begin to flower. And I'm going to toss this over to Kyle. Kyle, why don't you explain to us uh, why we prune these plants before they begin to flower? Well, if we didn't prune the plants, uh, they'd end up looking like giant Christmas trees. And we wouldn't have a lot of uh, lateral branching, and uh, we'd have really big buds on the top and really, really tiny buds below. So by manipulating the plant, uh, by removing certain leaves, uh, by training the plant outwards, we can uh, promote even more even growth over the whole plant. Yeah, and the reason why you know, we pull out some of these extra you know, fan leaves, it helps the airflow and it helps that light penetration. And these are two critical parts, uh, you know, two critical components in the flowering phase. You know, because as these plants begin to flower, as the flowers grow, the plants retain a bit more moisture. And moisture could lead to disease, could lead to mold, mildews. And so by pruning these plants, what we do is we allow the maximum amount of airflow and light exposure to these plants. Right, Kyle? Absolutely. So um, uh, specifically, what's the timing of the, of the pruning? When, when, when should we begin to prune these plants uh, as they go into flowering? Well, you don't want to do any heavy pruning deep into flower. Okay. So right around the first or second week of flowering, the first quarter of the flowering phase is definitely when you're going to finish up all your pruning. And what you're going to be looking for is really large fan leaves that are uh, uh, pointed towards the interior of the canopy and leaves that are covering multiple flowering sites. And basically your choice is, would you rather see this leaf get much larger or would you rather see all of these flowering sites underneath that leaf get much larger? Because effectively it's shading those flowering sites. Exactly. And, and the, the parts of the plant that are going to grow are the ones that receive direct light. Mm -hmm. So you, you, know, you don't ever want to strip your plants completely of leaves because these leaves are your solar reflectors. They collect all the energy that your plants need to live. So you want to be what I call is selective leaf pruning. You have to have a reason for wanting to remove this plant. And either that it's a little old and mottled and beginning to look a little yellow, you always remove any damaged or mottled leaves. And that's, that's the easy ones. Right. So anything that's dead or dying, you have some yellowing leaves, you have some dead or dying leaves, you always want to get that material out of the plant because right. again, that's just another place where some disease could take hold. Um, so it's really, it's, it's the interiors of these plants that we want to focus on because it's the interiors that, that, that have that, that the densest kind of vegetative matter going on there and really need, that's where it's going to benefit the most from pulling some of this, this leaf matter out and allowing some of that light and airflow to go through there. The airflow is really important, especially to be able to treat for uh, IPM, you know, for spraying for, uh, to make sure that you don't get bugs, to make sure that you don't get molds and mildews. If you have too thick or dense a leaf canopy, you can't get in there. Sure. So it's, it's a tricky thing. It takes a little bit of practice to not overdo it. Um, and overdoing it, I think specifically, you know, you never want to remove any more than one third of the vegetative matter from a plant in any one pruning session. If you do that, that number. yeah, if you, if you do that, you could risk putting the plant into shock. So up to as much as a third, but certainly not more than that. Right. Sure. And, and the thing is, is, if you're going to do a severe, uh, a severe pruning like that, where you're going to take a third of the leaves, just remember that if the plant has passed its vegetative stage completely, it's not going to regenerate those leaves. Mm -hmm. So remember that space that you're opening up, just remember that a leaf isn't going to come back then. 